trying to fit for misfits really came out of the news headlines we were seeing in 2015. The discussions about same-sex marriage, transgender, the difference between sexual identity and gender identity was a conversation we just haven't heard in the mainstream before. And so Fit for Misfit recognizes that one size fits all is no longer relevant and that brands that really want to engage with consumers have to understand the spectrum in which we have our identities. And identity is complicated and it's complex and fluid. As I sit here today, I think I'm a businesswoman, you know, I'm a futurist, but I'm a home, I'm, you know, an unorganized mom who hasn't done her grocery shopping or done the dishes and laundry needs to be done. But it's very fluid and it changes from day to day. And so brands have to recognize how do I meet the needs of that person even when their needs change so often at any given time. And even at an institutional side, it's interesting the rise of contrarian points of view. Organizations tend to find they hire or recruit people that have a good cultural fit. But that sometimes means it's about bringing together people that think alike. But if you're going to take on complicated or creative type of work, you need some dissenters. You need people that are going to challenge your point of view. And that's really what we're celebrating in the Fit for Misfits.